Oh, got a little Mercedes AMG GTS in white. I managed to forget my SD card on my camera today, so I can't use my camera for this part of the video, but I have my good old trusty iPhone 12 Pro Max to use for this. Look at this, you guys, the Army Green Urus is back. As I said before, I've never seen a Urus with this specific type of spec. It's dark green, like an Army Green on the outside, and then a brown interior. I don't know, I'm kind of digging it. What do you guys think? Now for the big question, would you guys rather have the 1500 DBX or the Lamborghini Urus? I'm a Lambo fanboy, so I'm gonna have to go with the Urus. Whoa, F430. Nice. Oh, these fools just crashed. Damn. They look to be cool about it though. That's good. Uh, it looks like everybody's safe. That's good. Oh my god, look at the dog in the OG rolls. White interior too? Man, this thing's like a whole different beast rolling by. Damn. I need me a Urus. That's for sure. Alright, so I was going to do an update on the Rolex robbery, but as I was recording the green Urus that was sitting here, the security card came out and decided to give me some shit about recording cars and basically told me I need to start blowing out license plates and all this stupid little shit. It was just a total a-hole to me. So you know what I say to that? Fuck you. Oh, police. Whoa there. White on white. Look at the white wheels. That's sick. Oh, whoa, 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 Ferrari, California T. Oh, we silver GT3. Oh, I fucking love GT3s, man. It's now raining, and well, I mean, I guess there's a C8, but other than that, there's like nothing. For anybody wondering, this is always the weather for 85% of the year. It's either raining, foggy, or super cloudy. It's so cold right now. My fingers feel like they're about to get freaking frostbite. It's not been this cold in like over a year, man. I mean, it's been raining for the last three hours. Am I being a total baby about this? Yes. Am I also a little pissed off because I haven't found cars in the last three hours? Yes, but I'm also being a baby. On another note though, I got some very delicious chips. And back to car spotting. Really quick though, if you guys have never been to Carmel during Christmas, look at all these decorations they put up in the plaza. It's so sick and there's even more on Ocean Avenue. Whoa, that's a white California. Damn bro, you got enough stickers? No hey, I actually kind of like it. Damn. <laughs> it hasn't been this hard bro in a hell of a long. This is not normal for us. They're doing oh, SUV. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's really, oh, it's really oh. Shit. Yeah, no, there's, oh. <laughs> it's getting flooded oh, again. <laughs> bro, it's like a roller coaster. Imagine, imagine it has emergency lights on and shit. Imagine a G-Wagon, bro. It's flooded, it's flooded. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That car is bring you back with your camera. Yeah, we gotta come back with the camera. The iPhone quality is perfect, <laughs> but not. That perfect. Look at the sidewalk. Whoa. Better put the window up, dude. Oh! Oh! Bro, we're in a boat. <laughs> we're cruising. We're in a G-Wagon. <laughs> oh, finally some action. Got the camera out and everything, and then it turned dead, and there you go. That's that's dead. Is it? Yeah. The dude outside? Yeah. See, this was all just like completely flooded and gone. Oh, here you go. Like this. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? We just found like a house. The door's open. And, like, I mean, everything in this turned off. It's for sale. It's boarded up partly, but the door's open. What? That's so weird. We're in Seaside, by the way. Squatters. Squatters, yeah. 
Seeing this black plaid reminded me that my buddy Chris with the white McLaren MP4-12C Spider has a pre-order on the new Tesla Roadster and if Elon Musk ever decides to actually release that thing, well, then stay tuned for that because it's going to be insane. On the other hand though, this is like the fifth plaid I see today, but who's really counting? No! Oh, that year sounded like it was freaking straight pipe and I just missed it! Oh, I'm sorry guys. You guys, check this out. This is an automotive art gallery. As you can see, they have some sick ass F1 paintings and other cars like that, 19 on the wall. But also, these they sell like these 118 scale models and all these different sizes. But these literally sell for anywhere from two to fifteen thousand dollars. So this 488 Spider right here can probably sell for like three grand. And the rarer they are, the more they're worth. That Chiron, I forget how many they made in that toy, but that thing was selling for 5k. That P1 was selling for like 6k. You guys, it's 46 freaking degrees. 46. I know in other places it's like 17 and stuff right now, but 46 here is stupid low. But just because it's 46 degrees does not mean the grind stops. The grind does not stop. It does not stop until we either finish or until my legs fall off. And it's freaking raining again. But on another note, look how beautiful this looks. Wow. Oh yeah, that power line is getting pretty oh, it's turning. Yeah, that thing's hella tilted. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. By the way, if you guys have followed my TikTok at Lavish Cars, you definitely should do so. I'm trying to get that thing up to 10k followers. I have some pretty sick content on here. I have some compilations of cars. Uh, I have like a little bit of everything to be honest. So you guys should definitely check that out. It's definitely worth a follow. Look at this. It's a Mulliner Edition Bentley, which Bentley says that this car is handcrafted by the oldest automotive coach builders in the whole world. What the hell that means? I have no clue, but it sounds cool. And it looks cool. And the squad of Porsche has two GTSs. Oh, there you go. Red GTS. I think I like the Targa over the Coupes. Whoa, a completely murdered out G-Wagon and a bedazzled front plate. Oh, the best car yet, a black GT4. The GT4 has never been quite at the top of my list looks-wise, but the more I look at it in person, the more I kind of start to like this thing. The GT4 has never been quite at the top of my list looks-wise, but the more I look at it in person, the more I kind of start to like this thing, man. Honestly, this day, this thing has a 3.8 liter 6 cylinder producing 309 pound feet of torque, 385 horsepower, 4.2 0 to 60 and a top speed of 183. Which if you ask me, this car is like can be purchased for like 70,000. So if you ask me, that's not a bad deal at all for a Porsche that's manual, can come with bucket seats and it looks like a race car, a subtle race car. Oh, an i8. Fun fact, i8s get like 78 miles to the gallon, which is crazy to be honest. A friend of mine made it to LA from Monterey in half a tank, which is like a six hour drive to eight hour drive, depending on traffic. See, I don't know about you guys, but a matte black G-Wagon just hits different. It has like a Beverly Hills type of vibe to me, and I love Beverly Hills, so I love the matte black G-Wagons. Now, are they worth 300K? No, I would way rather get a yours, but let me know, would you guys buy a G-Wagon for 300K? Whoa there, that's quite the amount of cops. What is popping on over here? Hmm. It looks like they had an unruly customer at one of the restaurants. Why so many cops? I do not know. Who knows what he really did? But they're all chilling over there. And sorry about the fact I can't zoom in farther. I really need to get a new lens for this camera because I mean, literally, this is the maximum zoom, and that cannot, and that does not cut it. 